Hello again, welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I am back for another, not a hardware review, but kind of one of my first, as uh, seems to be so popular these days, my first unboxing video. Today, I just happened to get what we're looking at here. It is the new Steam Controller, <clears throat> and... Um, I have not opened it yet. Uh, I pre-ordered this thing when pretty much close to when the pre-orders actually started through Steam and forgot about it for a while. And last week I got a notification that's saying, hey, we're getting ready to ship these things to the early backers. Uh, it's going to be available for everybody else. <clears throat> I believe it's November 10th. And uh, yeah. I have not actually taken this out of the box. I have no idea what to expect. I've All I've done is I've seen pictures of it. And I'm just as curious about this sucker as you guys are. So <clears throat> let's take a look at what we've got. We've got a nice little box here with a little cardboard sleeve going around it. There's a picture of the front and the back here. So you got a little bit of a different angle of the controller. But, you know what, uh, <clears throat> well, let's see, I guess I can show you the side, not really much there. Pretty minimalist, pretty minimalist box, or at least that kind of package. So let's take this part off. The only thing that I have done <clears throat> is I have taken the tape off of this little lip here so that we can get in to the box. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And what do we got here? This be the steam controller. Oh, weird. Wow. Okay. So let's take this out for a second. I'll get back to you very shortly. Let's see what else is included in here. Okay. We got some AAA, ba uh, AA batteries. Now I do happen to, I heard somewhere that like you can power it via tri uh, your batteries. Or you can power it via, I believe, a micro USB. And this is, what is this? It's a USB. Oh, it's got a little receiver guy, so I can use it just plain old wirelessly. Okay. I thought it was just a Bluetooth thing. Maybe it's got its, hmm, I guess I'm not entirely sure. How this thing, um, <clears throat> if it's got its own little Bluetooth thingy, or if it's you, whatever technology it's using to connect to this, but okay, there you go. So, note to self, do not lose that. Okay. And I think, let's see, is there anything else under said controller? Okay, we've got a couple of documents here. Looks like we've got a kind of a user's guide. Um, quick start guide. Okay. And no USB cord though. No real charge it. No way to charge it. I guess they figure everyone's got a dozen of these things around anyway. Uh, what do we got? Steam controller product guide. Okay. So Enough of that nonsense. Let us investigate the main event here. So, wow, this thing is weird. Um, right away, you can kind of tell, like, you have the handles like you would on an Xbox One controller or a PS4 controller, but... It's weird because this part here where my thumb is, this really shiny part, it it divots in. Um, I don't quite understand why, I guess. Um, so here you've got, on the left, you've got a giant d-pad kind of thing uh, you can see the you can kind of see the cross there now if I click it 
Uh, I'm trying to figure out if you can really tell. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever held this thing, so I'm just trying to figure it out as well. It looks like... Hmm. What I was trying to figure out is if, as I'm hitting it, does it feel like I'm hitting, like if it's just a solid switch in the middle, where I'm just hitting the whole thing, or does it, is it pressured to, like if I hit down here versus the top? Um, that is a giant, like, D-pad looking thing. That is weird, man. Uh, you got your left analog stick. That feels pretty decent. Um, I like the nice rubber grip. Nice, uh, keeps your thumb on there. And it is a clickable analog stick, so you have that functionality. Now, <clears throat> interestingly, it doesn't appear that we have a right analog stick. I'm gonna switch phone or uh, hands here. What the hell? Um, so it looks like this right part here, where my right thumb is, is kind of it can. The way this is, the way it was described, I guess, is like there's multiple ways to you can control and you can configure every button. And people will <clears throat> create different control sets for different games. So, like, you could go load a game, and then you can like open up like a, one of your one of your favorite control styles or whatever, or you can create your own. So, as an accessibility tool, this will be kind of cool because you know, literally, you will be able to, especially if you have like a physical or motor disability, you'll be able to customize every button on this thing, what it does. Um, yeah, weird. I mean, it's, there's no, it's just like a concave, slightly concave circle. And your buttons are actually down where your right analog stick would be in, in most places. Now, what I can't figure out is, am I supposed to be holding this thing different differently? Because these face buttons here... You know, you're missing your other analog stick, your right analog stick. And to me, to play comfortably, if I'm using these buttons for like action buttons in a game, I'm gonna back up here. That's kind of, I have big hands. And even for me, it seems kind of a stretch to be able to move your thumb way the heck inward. It would fit much more comfortably up here um, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, even like when I was, when I had the other hand on the controller, the deep or the, um, analog stick kind of felt, it felt good, but it seemed like it was, <clears throat> again, in too far. You've got this weird, like, indent part right here that kind of curves in, and these handles are actually pretty fat. You know, they're pretty thick. They're pretty rounded. Um, the, it's probably, I would say, a little bigger than the Xbox controller, the Xbox One controller, or the Xbox 360 controller. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is kind of weird. It's On the surface, it you know, it has the same kind of shape as a traditional controller, but this thing is kind of messed up, you guys. And then you got your steam button up here in the middle. And then you got like your pause or your start button. And your other back, you kind of your back or your select button like you would have on most console controllers. Okay. So that's the front face of the steam controller. Looks like we got probably a micro USB port right there. So I probably won't play this with batteries. Um, I'm probably just going to use it wired because I'm sitting close to my PC anyway. Now on the back, as I've been holding this thing, you may have been hearing clicking noises. What's also sort of interesting, here you've got your triggers, like you normally would, and they feel pretty analog. So it looks like you're going to have a lot of, oh, you have an analog, and then if I go, see so go like this, 
I'm just going in and out. It's kind of like analog, but then if I go far enough, they click. So you kind of have uh, <clears throat> analog triggers, and when you get it to a certain threshold, they click. So that's kind of interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, so then you got shoulder buttons up on top. So you got your kind of like your left and right trigger, left and right bumper. You compare that to like an Xbox controller. Uh, same over here. But then, now these are separate. You have a third uh, underside button or underside buttons. You've got like an L3 and R3, these long ones right here, there and there. Huh. That could be kind of interesting. So if I hold it like this again. Huh. So yeah, you get a couple more buttons on the back, which is kind of comfy. I'm still, like I said, the one thing I'm really curious is I'm still not sure these buttons, like if I'm playing a fighting game or something, these things feel really far in. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to hold my hand out further this way more. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is going to take a little getting used to, I think. Uh, it looks similar but on, on the surface, but it's really not. It, 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 Just holding it, you can tell it feels a lot different. Um, because this sticks up so much, and like I said, I have fairly large hands, so the analog stick doesn't feel too bad, although like I said, it is still, it's still in a ways, um, you know, it, it's still, I don't know, I mean, like I said, when I'm not holding the phone with one hand and trying to play with this thing with the other, uh, I'm kind of curious to see how it feels with both hands gripping this thing, and uh, just to see how it is. I like the triggers. The action feels pretty good for the bumper. The trigger here, um, it feels like it's got a good sense of, like, you have to kind of push on it. It's, you know, not really loose. It's pretty tight. Um, good for driving games, probably. Um, and then these other ones, I, I'm curious to see what these third triggers are going to be used for. Very interesting. So then on the back, <clears throat> I presume, here we go, you got your battery cover for those um, two batteries. Um, how do I... Can I do this one? Oh! Hi, how you doing? Okay. Oh. Okay. What does this thing take four? Double A? Hmm. Huh. Okay, well, whatever, um, you pop that off, that's interesting. Let's see if I can shove it back on here. Might be a little, might be a little tricky one-handed, especially left-handed. Let me try my right hand again here. Oops, sorry. Let me try my right hand, see if I can... I don't want to break the thing the first second I got. Um, come on. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're gonna... Um, come on. Yeah, we're gonna wait. I'll put that back on when I'm done recording, because I don't want to, I want to wind that up properly with both hands, just make it a lot easier. So, yeah, that is the Steam Controller. Uh, I will probably be back in another video. Um... <clears throat> And after I've played with it a while, and let you know what I actually think about it in game. I just kind of wanted to do, you know, like I said, I've never done an unboxing, and I figured I, as, as little as I know about this thing, uh, other than the pictures I've seen, I was really curious to see what this sucker would feel like, too. So I thought, you know what? Let's uh, take this thing out of the box and discover it together so yeah this thing is really it's familiar but it just it feels different enough just different enough and like i said down here i'm not sure the, these bottom parts of the controllers these are really fat i can you know they're really rounded so if you have small hands 
and you're trying to reach some of these middle parts. Um, I'm curious to see what more people with uh, smaller hands have to say about this thing. Definitely curious. You know, I don't have a right analog stick. It's supposed to have some nice force feedback in it, especially for over on the right hand area here um, to help you know like where you are in relation to like the middle of the circle or whatever. Um, so you can tell like more like analog control. Now, and it, this thing, like I said, what's really interesting is how this thing has evolved over time. Go back and look at some articles about when they first announced that Steam was going to make a controller. This thing was even different, more different than it is now. You had, it looked like basically two of these, except they had little inner circles in them. They had one over here and one over here. No analog sticks, no buttons in here. At first it had no buttons whatsoever. And in the middle it had like these almost like a little, I don't remember if it was just a screen or like an LCD or LED screen, or if it was an actually a touch screen. It might've actually been a touch screen at one point. Uh, but then people said that, eh, you know, there's only so much you can do with touch um, and haptic feedback. You probably want to have at least some buttons on here. And now, like I said, we've got your four buttons, your one analog stick, and then whatever this goofy guy on the right is. And you got your three buttons on either side on the back. So, hmm. I am definitely going to have to plug this sucker in uh, shortly and start playing with this thing this weekend because I am, from what little I've read via Twitter and a couple of other really brief things, I think what I've heard is that people are liking it, but it definitely takes some initial getting used to. It's not like going from, say, an Xbox 360 controller to an Xbox One controller. I mean, if I grab, oh, let's see, we got so much crap over here. Ah, uh, no, well, fine. All right, so if I grab, here's my Xbox One controller um, plugged into my PC. You know, the, these, they're, they're a lot thinner, like the little handles here, they're not near as rounded, not near as fat, I guess you would say. Um, yeah, there's your D-pad. Your analog stick, your right analog stick, and your four buttons. You know, let me grab my other hand. Let me grab it with my other hand here again. If I grab the right hand side, it just your hand just comfortably rests here and here. Um, you know, and I can hold it really easily because these grips are a little bit smaller. I grab this one grab the steam guy here and it's just it's weird that it dips it kind of it feels to me like it shouldn't have this weird maybe if it was more like contour from up here kind of going you know down kind of like how the xbox one does it kind of goes up into a nice curve like how your hand would typically go Whereas this, it's almost like the opposite. It kind of goes down and in. I don't know how I feel about that. So, yeah, this is going to be a really interesting creature. Finally got my hands on one here. And uh, I don't know if I'll do another, you know, live camera video like this. Probably not. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll jump into a game like Left 4 Dead or something as I'm using this controller. And, uh... Once I've had a chance to play with the Steam controller a bit more, uh, maybe I will pop into a game and give you some actual hands-on impressions. Because I do want to try it maybe with like a shooter, you know, maybe a platformer, uh, you know, you know, racing games. So, yeah, very, very interesting. Xbox One controller, Steam controller. So we're going to wrap it up here and hope you guys found it interesting. Again, you won't be able to get your hands on these for a little while longer yet. Um, <clears throat> I'm recording this on Friday, the, what is it? October 16th. And I believe if you didn't pre-order them, you can get your hands on these around, I think November 10th is the official 
launch date for these things. So I will try some my hands at some games over the next week or so, or a few days or so, and hopefully, maybe sometime in the next week or so, I can come back with another video for you guys and uh, let you know what I think after I've actually played with it. So we'll wrap it up here. Follow me again on Twitter at BGFH79. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, talk to you guys again later.